Daniel Ricciardo says he is ignoring speculation over his F1 future, amid rumors that he could be dropped by Red Bull mid-season if his performances do not improve soon, having returned to a full-time F1 seat in mid-2023. Ricciardo entered the new season making no secret of his ambition to reclaim his old Red Bull seat alongside Max Verstappen. However, the 34-year-old instead finds himself fighting for his F1 future, having lagged behind RB teammate Yuki Tsunoda across the opening three races, while Tsunoda reached Q3 in Saudi Arabia and Australia, finishing seventh in Melbourne to bank vital points for the Red Bull junior team. Ricciardo is yet to finish higher than 12th so far in 2024. Helmut Marko, Red Bull's long-serving advisor, has piled the pressure on Ricciardo to improve in recent weeks, warning the Australian that he has to come up with something soon before claiming both RB drivers are too slow. In race conditions, Ricciardo is in immediate danger of losing his seat to be premature. Addressing the speculation at his home race at Albert Park last weekend, Ricciardo insisted he is refusing to listen to the rumors about his future. He said in terms of the noise, people tell me like in the media, they're like, oh, so and so said, it's the first I've heard, it's obviously no disrespect to the media, but I know that I'm on this little process or journey at the moment, and I just need to focus on myself, if I let any of the noise in, it's going to kind of distract me from the path I'm on. I haven't let any of that negative stuff creep in. Ricciardo's poor start to the 2024 season comes after he outqualified Tsunoda for his first race back at last year's Hungarian Grand Prix, just weeks before he was ruled out for five races after suffering a broken hand in a practice crash at Sontfurt. The former Renault and McLaren driver has been left bemused by his lack of progress since his comeback admitting he was convinced that he would start the new campaign in much stronger fashion after a full preseason with RB. He said I didn't expect to start the season like this. Budapest last year, I drove the car day before, and then I out-qualify Yuki and have a really strong race, and with no knowledge, and then having a full preseason and all that, and all the races last year, I honestly thought that this year we would start a lot stronger. So there is that which I don't understand not only me, but a few people are wondering why. I think the important thing is that I stay on course, and I'm sure I'll find a bit more in myself, and I still believe maybe we'll find a little something on the car. I don't quite understand all the vitriol towards Daniel on this site. He is an eight-time GP winner. Not many in history can say that. He is also not a divisive figure at all. By all accounts he's actually a very nice guy. Isn't he someone people would want to get behind when they are down? Anyhow, Clearly things have not gone well for him, and it seems a bit head-scratching, given how positive he started with Alpha Tauri last year before his accident. Is it mental? Is he pressing too hard? Or is he maybe a driver that peaked early and age is just not his friend? We've seen drivers lose their edge at 30 before, maybe Daniel fits that category. I do agree that this year should be make or break for him, given his vast experience and Liam waiting in the wings. I hope RB gives him the season to try to pull it together, he's earned that much respect, I think. There's also no hurry, RB still doesn't have a great car, and Liam is under contract, and knows he has a place next year.